Before you begin doing anything with your coolant system, always make sure the vehicle is cold and not pressurized and that you are wearing safety goggles. The tank is located on the left side of the engine. You should inspect the tank for signs of aging and fatigue every oil change. Make sure to change the tank at the first signs of cracks or spillage. You're going to need to remove the coolant from the tank to change it out. You can use a turkey baster to do this, but if you're going to be working on your vehicle, consider buying a good fluids pump. I like the Schwaben one, which both extracts and pumps. With the car cold and not under pressure, remove the top cap and remove the coolant from the tank. You're going to need to add this amount of coolant back at the end or replace the amount with fresh coolant. Squeeze in the two clips red arrows on the level sensor and pull it straight up and off the tank. Locate the line on the side of the tank, red arrow, that runs to the bleeder valve, blue arrow. Use a set of hose clamp pliers and slide the clip and the hose off the tank, red arrow. Next, use a T27 torque and remove the two screws, red arrows, holding the tank to the brackets. Lift the tank up and use the hose clamp pliers to remove the hose on the bottom of the tank, red arrow. There will be a little bit of fluid that will spill out, so be prepared to catch it and dispose of it correctly. Check the new tank and be sure to remove any plugs that might have come with it, blue arrows. Installation is the reverse of removal, and don't forget to add back the amount of coolant you removed. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.